this week was exciting for the Frankenstein project. We finished this story for the experience. So now we know we have we have an idea of like all the beats that are going to go into the VR experience. Now it's just a matter of uh, ironing out um, all the the minute details of the VR experience, and then also play testing. So play testing is going to be very key for us, uh, just because there's going to be a lot of naive guests that are participating uh, in this installation. We also outlined our journal entries, which seem like they're going to be really cool, as well as. Uh, overall idea of what the installation is going to look like so that's exciting too and I made some more progress on the sound effects we have them running in our prototype which is also really cool so for this week um, I made a um, prototype for choosing a dialogue and Doug and I combined our scene two scenes from the mirror room to the Victor's lab and we did some, not like official, but like an official play test. And we figured out um, current interaction is not intuitive. And then if time allows, I want to try some like waking up scene, like blurry vision of the monster. Yeah, that's it. This week we also discover a shader is called cross -hatch hatching. It's a like hand drawing. Oh texture or shader over the models make it look like um, a sketching stuff. So I'm looking into that next week and trying to see if I can implement that shader for our project. As far as character art goes, um, I did uh, the low poly version of the monster in Maya uh, to make sure that uh, the face can animate properly. This week I finished the uh, scene transition system then add some textures so the alpha channel can be changed from 0 to 1 and now I'm doing uh, I'm adding a function screen fading to the uh, uh, transition system which is uh, fade screen from black to normal yeah, and that's it. We got the skeleton, we know what we're going to tell, we know what we're going to do and now it's just about fine tweaking just those experiences and, and uh, start play testing them next week. So I think we've got a bunch of good things in the oven and I'm very positive about where we are right now.